Hey y'all, it's me, Ren, back again for another adventure. We're in the uh, throes of my obsession because I can't stop thinking about this game. So even though I don't normally stream during the day or stream the my main games on the weekend, I'm gonna, because I wanna, I wanna learn more things. I wanna know the stuff. Show me your business. All right, what am I doing here? I'm gonna wake up and it's gonna explode, but first I gotta pull the ding dang thing up on my Twitch because I was not ready. I gotta learn to get all that business ah. in place. <gasps> all right. There, that thing exploded. We're not that concerned. So I'm feeling like we for sure, for sure need to get to the secret moon. And so far, the things that I've been trying have not been working. So first things first, let me look at my pre-flight checklist. All right, good. Ship's log does not count as time. So let's go back in here. Okay, let's see here. Review rumored entry. Found that raises and lowers the forge. It's the highest district. Okay, that's right. That's right. So we are going to be going back to, um, whatchamacallit, Brittle Hollow. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Let's go ahead and take a gander at our map here. And get our lock on. And we're going up, up, up to the heavy side layer. All right, so now I'm up here. Which way are we going? Oh, hello, moon. All right, cool, cool. Fuck a duck. Are you serious? Your fault, your fault. Abort autopilot and chill the fuck out. What the hell, yo? All right, listen. Since since that just really fucking tanked spectacularly, I am going to reassess what I'm going to noodle about with here. And I'm going to go see that guy about the... Uh, Whatchamacallits? What is happening? Nope, not that way. Um, that plant thing. The plant thing. Come on. I've been trying to hold velocity here for quite some time. Please. Stop. Please stop. Alright. Going up a little bit. Ever upward. Exactly. Except when my autopilot just freaking all right listen i'm un mm -hmm. unselecting that golly gadarnia okay is this yeah all right i'm gonna go in here i'm gonna oh geez louise oh my gosh so embarrassing i'm the best pilot ever let's uh let's get out of here and uh i'm gonna take my suit because i want to be able to fly up on top of my uh all the stuff I have to fix because I definitely <sighs> I can't believe you autopilot trying to take me through my own dang planet who would do such a thing ding 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 dum get under here how, how do I get to that come on hey I can hear you snap crackling oh come on there we go Landing camera. Well, like I ever successfully used that. Oh, I've been doing pretty good. I, uh, been playing a lot of Outer Wilds here. And, uh, let's see. What was I doing? I've done, uh, a few other little, little games. Uh, did a lot of Rusty Lake business. Uh, I don't know if you saw any of those. But for now, I'm... I'm these awesome blue aliens. Hey, old Hatchlin. I thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me? I saw something crash. 
over the horizon. Didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures my little scout was sending back. So I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. All right. Is that a dark bramble seed? Well, you think so? It's nothing I've ever seen on Timber Hearth before, so you're probably onto something there. Whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchland, and that's a fact. I think I'll set Marl and Hal loose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later, and no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than that tree keeper can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want to set anybody hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea what's lurking inside there. Tuff can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside, and anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into anything that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. Oh, the best tip is, uh, don't worry about getting back to your ship. And honestly, if I, I hate to tell people not to watch my stream, but if you're wanting to play this yourself, it's all about discovering things and figuring things out. So a lot of the mystery and the fun of the game could potentially be spoiled by watching someone stream it. So just beware. I mean, I don't think I'm going to make much headway this stream because I, I am not that great at this game. Uh, that's that's a good way to lose an arm or two. All right, so I already... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and shoot one of my scouts through here. Uh, yep, it's weird. There's our pictures. All right, so now I'm going to talk to him again. Blasted Seed did a lot of damage when it crashed. I like this crater. Need something from me, Hatchlin? Uh, you're sure this seed, I threw a little scout into the seed. You did, did you? And you're telling me it's bigger on the inside than the outside. <laughs> this is going to be a chore to chop up, no mistake. Can we even remove a seed that doesn't have the decency to stay the same size all the way through? That's very true. And like I said, I am so-so at this game. So, <laughs> so there's, there's definitely, uh probably more efficient paths that one could take. But I'm seeing a lot of cool stuff, and it won't be less cool when you see it on your playthrough. So there's that. Maybe I better grab an extra axe or three just in case. All right, I'm recalling my droid. I feel like this was a waste of time. I thought since I had additional information about this thing that I'd be able to hurry this process along, but nope, it doesn't matter. My ship had been damaged, so I gotta... Ooh, I gotta get up in into space now. And I'd say uh, one big thing, because of the way that a lot of this stuff is timed out, um, if you if you end up making a mistake and end up somewhere else, just don't try to be getting back to what you were doing before. Just embrace that now you've got a different you've got a different place that you're at and you're going to explore that place instead because there's there's a lot of opportunities to get uh thrown off track of what you were doing all right so i'm going over to brittle hollow because i am trying to explore the inside of this yes exactly because there's Especially with this planet that I'm working on right now, there's a flipping black hole on the inside of it, and I keep falling through it, and I end up on the other side of the solar system. Which, I mean, keen for not dying from black hole, because let's be real. But, uh, it's for sure, for sure. Okay, I gotta, I gotta. Yeah, okay. Velocity matched. Is this the place where I can get back down? No, it's actually not. It's not, so I want to go. Uh, somewhere else on this planet. Where is it? Do, do, do. Get up a little bit. Uh, is it over here? Oh, shit, shit, shit. No, 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 no. Uh, how do I roll? How do I roll? Oh, oh. And I guess I also suggest getting good at piloting, as I am not. <laughs> All right. I've landed well enough. Let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. eh. 
All right, where are we going? I'm gonna go fiddle around. Now we want. I'm. I'm more. I'm more interested in exploring the Hanging City right now. So I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna fiddle around with this cool thing. But this is definitely a cool thing. Uh, let's see here. Oh nope, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, where's my instructions? Is that heading? Is that going somewhere useful? I don't know. That could go right out into nothing. Do we risk it? Nah. I think I'm gonna hold off on that one for a minute. Uh, let's go back here and follow this path and see if we can find some trail markers. Oh, gotta remember to turn on my flashlight here. Alright. This should be a trail marker. What do you say? Southern Observatory, south, 550 meters. I have been trying to get to that. You know what? I'm going to try to get to that before I go to hang. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Get good, you know? <laughs> Be better than me. All right. So I feel like this is going to drop me off in the middle of nowhere here because it looks like it's heading towards nothing. Oh, heavens to for Murgatroyd's here. Yeah? Catch me! Catch me! Okay, you caught me. <sighs> Whew! Hoodalali! Trusting with this business? Okay, I don't actually know if this was the direction I'm supposed to go, so let's check some of this out. We going anywhere around here? What's that over there? Can't tell. This is still south. All right, let's go a little more south then. Um, ooh, look at that. So cool. Uh, oh yeah, there's that black hole down there. That pesky little black hole. All right, where, where are these things going? Hmm, can I get down there? Is that where I want to be? Ah, uh, let's go. Woohoo! Uh, oh, no, 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 Oh, bug. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, my stars and garters. Wait, am I still falling? I'm still falling. Okay, uh-oh. Okay, try to get around. Get around the black hole. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. So, so here's that information about what happens when you go through the black hole. All right, what else came through with me? What do we got around here? Anything useful there? Doesn't especially, oh, there's some kind of something up there. Where's anything? Oh, I'm gonna bump into this stuff. Okay. Eh. Um. Oh. Some trees. Oh, golly. And I don't see this station I'm supposed to go to here. Ah, there it is. All right. Cool, cool. Yes, I know. 50% fuel remaining. All right. Come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Now slow down, slow down. Ah. These. Yes. Okay. So now start to approach slowly. Match speed. I know. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay, so I gotta go like this. And then maneuver up here. Oh, 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 match velocity. Ah, woo! Okay. <sighs> 
So now, the first time, first time I got shot through a wormhole, I thoroughly explored all this area. I did not mean to immediately turn the door around. That's embarrassing. Okay. The first, yes. Oh, geez, Louise. There. All right. I'm not great at these doors. Okay. So the first time I came down here, I did some thorough ex exploration and, and it was real cool. Uh, hello. Please. There. Okay. I'm going to take this. And uh, then we got to go down in here. And we put that in place. And then we pop on up here. And I've already read all of this. So I'm just getting... I'm going to go back to where I was. And uh, we got to keep on keeping on. All right, so I'm back on the planet from before, and there are a few things uh, on this side of the planet that can get me to the next spot that I want to go to. This only comes up. I gotta wonder if I can switch this on the other side. I mean, I'm sure I can, but mm -hmm -hmm. there we go. This is where I wanted to put this. All right, so let's see what this says. Brady and I reviewed the records you sent, Polk, and they appear to show Nomai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the Whitehall Station. Oh, that's interesting. It's a little timey-wimey. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one one hundred one one hundred thousandths of a second. You suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? No, it's timey wimey, yo. As I've already told Rainy, these measurements can't be accurate. How can a Nomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter before? The implications are absurd. Poke, as Pi is confident the reading is inaccurate, she's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. Ooh, a High Energy Lab. I don't think we've done anything with that before. Pie. An update, Pope. The High Energy Lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins e Equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. Ooh, okay. Ember Twins Equator. I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Word, yo. Yes, I hope so too. You hope you hope the time? All right, so now I'm going to put it in the little projection stone. So here you can have like a little, uh... Where are we at? What are we doing here? Oh. Ooh. Interesting. All right. Okay, so I've looked at what we've got on that. That's Ember Twin Projection Stone. Okay, so at this point, that is some good information that I got, and I can kind of go look around. All right, so this is that symbol where they've got the little trio of things. I can't get back down into the city from here, because this one only goes, it's only an out. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, I wonder if I just keep shooting back and forth, if that will give me more time. Yeah, just a little tiny bit. Interesting. Okay, what's up here? I've already been up here. Where's the, uh... Oh, that's, that's just the big map. That doesn't do me any good here. 
right, so here's some water. We were already up there. Yeah, the ground is fairly stable around here. I'm gonna head more towards the center area. I kind of want to keep my eye on the sun. Uh, because I'm still trying to figure out what the... Oof, there's a lot of empty space going on down there now. Uh, that's a little bit intimidating for sure. Let's uh, see if we can get the higher ground. Oh, mm, what was that? And just a little bang bang. A little comedy bang bang. All right, we're still bopping along. We are going to need some oxygen here at some point. Uh, or we will go ahead and suffocate, you know, as you do. All right, so that is where their escape pod landed. And then I can see the route down from there. All right, so let's get on up there. And I don't, I'm not sure how much I, uh, investigated around here. All right, so this is the beacon. Eh, we're fine. And I already looked at the beacon. I've looked up in here. There's an emergency hatch out the back. Um, and I think that will get me where I want at least close to where I want to be. Let's see. Uh, down here. And this is the emergency hatch. Alright. And... Yep, we've got some little pathways. Oh! Oh, it's a little crunchy. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's much crunchy. Okay. Well, that's a highly distressing uh, little, little bit of action there. Okay. Uh, hmm. Beginning to think this was not where I wanted to go. All right. Well, there's one over there. Let's just see what we can see once we're over there. Oh. No. Oh, crumble cake. Please. Oh, no. Oh, aim for the, aim for the thing. Aim for the thing. Aim for the thing. Oh, beaned it. Beans, get in there. <gasps> Woo. All right. Saved by the blue. All right. Turn on my flashlight. Where are we going? What do we got going on here? It's probably time for things to explode soon. So, uh... uh I'm not, uh... Not really expecting much from here. Okay. So, let's think here. I'm gonna refuel my jetpack. We're very close to done. Let's, uh... Let's talk to you. Do we have anything new to say to you? Oops. Yeah. Oh, I, I've already read a lot of this. It's halfway stable being sucked. <sighs> yep. Uh, not. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. I wish, I wish I had a clock. I should set a timer so that I've got a better idea. Alright, I don't want to go that way. You said... Let's cross from here. Aha! Okay. So these are my little gravity... bobs. And, uh... Here we go. Gravity cannon is east that away. 
We've got some stuff here. I've already read those notes. Um, Gravity Cannon, Southern Observatory. Uh, I think this is the way to the city. This is... Gravity Crystal Workshop. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, whoops. Oh. Get me up there. There's these gravity crystals are intriguing and important. I want to see what their gravity crystal workshop looks like. A little bit hurt. Oh shit! Where did I fall? Okay. Okay. What what end is up, please? Uh. Is this? Nope. Nope. No, thank you. All right. All right. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, what's up in here? Gravity crystal workshop. Okay, here's some gravity crystals. We got some trees around. <sighs> More trees. Can't, uh, can't get out there. There's a hole in the ceiling. Okay, cool, cool. All right, get good. Get good. Frickin', frickin' get good. All right, there we go. Not good. Ah, okay. So I've actually been in this clearing before. But I was not aware of it. Oh, kilometers away. That's rough. All right, so you know what we're gonna do? Because we gotta be close to World's End at this point. Uh... I'm gonna light the fire here, and we're just gonna get a nice toasty marshmallow going here. Not too hot, thank you. We don't like the uh, the burnt. Maybe get it going good on either side here. Oh, a little too, a little too black here. Let's see. Ah, still, still good at eating. All right. So all of that noise that we just heard is probably the end of the world. So it's going to be here pretty soon. Oh, shoot. Yep, there we go. How, how apropos that I burnt my marshmallow as the world burned. As the world burned. So too are the sands and the hourglass. No, the days of our lives. Too many old soap operas. All right, so I'm rewinding. And this is one of the big spoilers that's very unavoidable, is that there's a certain amount of time you have to explore things before your whole solar system just gets got. All right, so now what do we want to... I want to look up... Night City. Focusing on Night City. We're not going to fall into the black hole because we're too cool for that this time. That's our... Or wait, let me look at my ship's log again because we did... Oh, that's something I could do. Yeah, I'm going to go to uh, Ember Twins Equator because that is a place that I have yet to be and they've got some kind of something there that I want to take a gander at. All right, so now that we're kind of up here, I'm gonna take this a look. We got the Hourglass Twins, and we want Ember Twin. All right, and we're gonna engage Autopilot, but we gotta keep an eye on this because it will try to run us through a planet or the sun. Okay, good. Looks like we got a straight shot here. We might run into Ash Twin. Is Ash Twin in our way? It is. Please. Okay. Nope. Not this time. All right. So I'm going to kind of air so slowly. Get a little closer with arid extra dry. Oh, look at this. Look at this thing. Oh. 
All right. This is that second beacon. Cool, cool, cool. I haven't found this beacon yet. New stuff. Let's go. Bonk. All right. Which direction? I'm stuck. Dang it. All right. There we go. So, because when the Nomai came here, their escape pods went to three different... Always turn on your light. Always forget to turn on your light. All right. And now we're gonna check out this beacon. Uh, yep, there it is. Now it's identified. It's distressing. Okay. So now yeah, we're gonna pop over here. And we're gonna come in here. Who are you? We need status reports for all systems, but initial things first. Is everyone unharmed? Our escape pod's passengers are afraid, but physically well. Anana, everyone survived the crash. That's a relief, at least. You have my gratitude. Burr, were you able to find the other escape pod's distress signals? I can hear both signals somewhere in this star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as us. That's right. They went to a couple different planets. Bonk. Oh, a bunch of this is cracked. Good thing they survived. That could have been bad business. Ah. Alright, time to read your diary. This Escape pod 2. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Launching escape pod. Collision imminent. Verdict. Inhospitable. Do not seek shelter on planet surface. Yeah, it sucks out here, yo. Oh, more recording. Interesting. Okay. The heat from the star system sun is more bearable below the surface. When our escape pod punctured this planet's surface, it broke into what scans show as a cave system with much cooler air. I would recommend we seek a site down there to build a long-term shelter. Anona, but these passages are a maze. Even with this danger, they are still our best chance for survival. For We'll form teams and descend into the caves to look for a shelter site. We can mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming irreversibly lost. Be cautious, everyone. And be aware of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. Oh, weird. All right. What's out here? Just a little bit of land here. Okay, there's all sorts of little things written everywhere. All right, lots to read on this planet. We have found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we should construct a long-term shelter there. The cavern Malora found is a wise choice for shelter. Could one of you mark directions for the others to follow? This is the start of the path to the shelter site. I've left directions to guide you there. Of note, we must hurry, as the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand, and make sure no one is lost. Alright, so a bunch of sand there. We're going down, we're going down, 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 down. Oh, rotten wooden things. Okay, that's not great. Eh. All right. The path to the shelter site is somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions ahead closely. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. I see you. Uh. Uh. All right. To reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit, then turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock column formations and climb upward through the opening above them. The sand here is rising, so you must be cautious but swift. All right. Walk forward till you meet the sandfall at the pit, then turn left. Climb up the rock column formation. Okay, where is the sand? 
Okay, it's not in there. Walk forward to the sand and then turn left. Walk until you get to the uh, column formations. Awesome. All right. And then there should be a hole in the ceiling. Excellent. And. All right. Okay. Here's more path. Excellent. All right. Going in here. It's going to be interesting to see. I mean, are we going to run into a new note? Yes, we are. All right. Be cautious crossing the chasm ahead. The bridge Malore and I crafted will do its job, but it isn't strong. Once on the far side, look for the tunnel hidden behind the falling sand. Follow it and you'll reach the shelter site. All right. So. This shit is busted. But it's okay. Bonk. All right. And then we got to get through to go through the sand what is this all right we made it oh beware you're doing well there's only a little farther left to go until you reach the shelter site you can rest there hurry before the sand comes eee. all right so are we going down Or do we have to go across? I guess I'll go across. Oh. All right. All right. I can't. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Let me in. Let me into the shelter. Let me in. You got a lot of poking things. That's not great. Three minutes of oxygen left. That's all right. There's oxygen right over there. But, uh, all right. So this is not turned on. Let's, uh... Let's see. I'm gonna go this way. These little spiky plants don't count as oxygen, which is kind of a bummer. But I just wanna... I just wanna give a... A looky loo here. In case we find anything of note, but it just looks like a bunch of dead people. And always, always more sand. So I'm curious. Ooh. Can I get in there? Alright, I need to go get some oxygen from that plants area. So let's figure out a way around there. Oh, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Oh, gosh. Okay, we gotta get out of this area. Okay, so there's you. Alright, I'm gonna go. Yeah! Should we build the sun station to power the Ash Twin project? Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetime. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the Sun Station must be built if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. I almost can't comprehend this as being suggested seriously. The purpose of the Sun Station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe as a species. If we fail, and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of this star system. I wish to protect these species. The potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build the sun station, no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. I believe if we're cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in Pi. Poke, I'm deeply honored. I, Idea, I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't all about... If we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we've built it, then I won't support the station's use. Yeah, this sounds... Unsurprisingly, a day I disagree. We're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That, in my experience, is the defining characteristic of our species. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. We definitely did a doozy. All right. So this is Anglerfish Overlook District. What the what? Stepping Stone District? Oh, and turning on all the lights. All the lights in the forest. High Energy Lab Trailhead. I need to get to that High Energy Lab. That has some information for me. Eye Shrine District. Oh, the eye. Turn on all the lights. Turning on all the lights in the forest. Now stay up there. All right. So I turned on the power. Now where to? Uh, oh, look at this. I can pop right back up there. Let's go up. Oh, hello. Yep, there we go. Is there more up? Oh, there is more up. Okay. And that's the uppest. Okay, so we're on the uppest right now. Let's be thorough. We'll start at the uppest and work our way upper now. Um, is this where I came in? What does this say? This is amazing! Look inside the cave! How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think it's a rare find. From what we can see, Collius and I believe the specimen must be very old indeed. Imagine what we might learn if we could examine it. We both agree it's unlikely this dry planet is this horror's place of origin, especially considering what we observed during the vessel's evacuation. Clearly, this hole is too small for it to have fit through. Hypothesis, there is another entrance to this cave. If there is, Coleus and I will find it. We can't leave valuable information undiscovered. Aw, oh, I love you nerds. An update, we need to find a way inside quickly, Malore, because when I returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. Uh-oh. What you got in there? I can't see it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Obviously, they found a way in. Very cool. Yeah, very cool. I know where that came from. All right, so we went out there. And that's what we found. Uh, let me put away my scout. All right. Oh, and that's the sand. Okay, awesome. All right, so we pop around over there, and now we can go in here, and there is an up. All right, so, but there was a place I wanted to check in here once I had more oxygen, right? Where was that? I always follow the left-hand wall. Um, oh, is that their bed? Wow, interesting. Their, uh, their whole style is interesting. I mean, obviously someone worked hard on it. And it's pretty cool. Oh, it was in there, right? Was it in there that I wanted to get? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is go back over to where there was this up. Where was that? It had to be, like, right, right around here. Yeah. Um going a little bit up. Yeah, we are. Okay. So from up here, we'll just take a gander. Take a peek. Alright. And we're gonna go over here. And is this the down we want? I don't know. That looks sus. There's a lot down there. I don't. I can't tell where I might want to be going. It's one of those There's at least another door up here. I want to see what's through the door. Gravity cannon. There was a gravity cannon elsewhere. I 
want to see it. Oh, there's all sorts of this bullshit growing all over it. Oh, okay. Um, it's not so great. Uh, how am I getting over there? Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Yeah, I'm sure this is fine. Um, oh, hey, that's what I can do. Not like that, though. All right. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna try it. Oh, it's very busted up in there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yep, yep, this is not going well. I can't go there. Let's go home or somewhere else. Ah, uh, oof. Oof. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm going to suffocate. That's no good. It's a sorry end. A sorry end indeed. <sighs> Dead again. Dead again. Dead again. While this rewinds, I'm gonna go get something. always takes longer than I think it will. Okay, so we got we got to some places in there. I'm gonna pop up. We're going back to Amber Twin. Uh, and keep exploring that place. Alright, so let's first look at the map and we'll go ahead and check these out. Yeah. That's the one we want. Okay. Up we go. Up, 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 and away. And now we'll see if my autopilot behaves. Oh, watch out for the moon. All right. Coming in. Do, 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 do. Did not mean to have that on vibrate. Okay. All right. And we're going forward. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get up and around. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to. A little closer. Interesting. Oh. Oh, no good. No good. Okay. Oh, cockpit damage. That's no good. Pretty rough in here. Uh, try to get out of here. All right. Let's get out of here and go up. I just wanted to see what it did. 
Let's try to land on this bridge here. There we go. Nicely done, if I do say so myself. Don't fall off. Are you falling off? Thank you. Okay. Let's get our suit on and first things. Oh shit. What's going on there? Oh shit. I'm falling off of something. Okay. How are we doing? How are we doing? Ah. Repair cockpit. Awesome. Um. Oh boy. Yeah, I did a great job landing. What the heck? Go ahead and do that. And you can for sure just hang out there. That's 100% stable, stable parking job. Thank you. All right. What's over this way? Turn on my night light. All right. What do you say? Oh, nice. It's a scroll. All right. Friends, if you've signed any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me. He vanished without a trace during our research trip and has been missing ever since. <gasps> Malore, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search for Coleus. Can you tell us more about your expedition? You have my gratitude, Burr. Coleus and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about a unique and wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Where was young Coleus lost, Malore? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. It happened in an instant, without warning. I turned away from Coleus to examine a sample, and when I turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited supply of air, and Anna, I'm afraid for him. Hypothesis. We will learn more by exp examining the northern lake bed cave where Coleus disappeared. Search quickly, everyone. We have no time to squander. Ooh. Ooh. Oof. Oh, it's one of these thingies. One of these rocks. Oh, it just disappeared. But it's one of those. It's one of those. I know it's nearby. Cave shark. Take me with you, cave shark. Should I not be looking at you? That one's quite far away. I already know what it is. Alright, anyway. Let's get up there. Uh. Where are we going? Dissing this girl. Uh, where are we heading? You want to go north? That's the stuff I just read. Okay. So let's get out of here and we'll go find my boat again. What's with these homies? This and my girl. Nope, that's not very nearby at all. Oh, you're right up there. Oh, sure, I'll come see you. Yeah. Yeah, I need to check in with all of my folks. Bonk. All right. I just got to cross this bridge. This makes coming here this time totally worthwhile. And what are you? Bonk, 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 bonk. You've got your drums. You've got your stuff. Chert! Oh, I've loved church notes. Talk to shirt. Goodness, it's you. Hello. Oh, wait, no. His voice was more. Goodness, it's you. Hello. I take it your first launch went well then. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. It gets everywhere. Ornfells asked me to update our star chart, so I'm out here observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know. What's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernova today. Usually I'd be fortunate to see just one. Keep an eye or four on the stars, and maybe you'll spot one yourself. Tell me, what can I do for you? How do I know if I've spotted a supernova? Uh, supernova look like extra bright stars to the naked eye, but if you zoom in with your signal scope, you can tell they're actually enormous explosions. 
Massive stars go supernova at the very end of their lifespans, which is why it's so unusual to see two in a single day. I wonder if some of these stars are older than we realized. What can I do for you? What are you doing out here? Right now I'm documenting stars. Hornfells noticed our star charts are out of date, so they asked me to update them. Please don't tell the others I said this, but sometimes I think I'm the only travel out here interested in doing any science at all. You look like an egg. Er, maybe don't tell Hornfells either. I think they're pretty deep in denial. Where should I explore here? To be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. I don't mean to brag, but I'm really good with the little scout, so I've been taking pictures of everything from right here in my campsite. Have you seen the old shipwreck site on Ember Twin's southern hemisphere? The one that's shooting a bright beam of light into the sky? It's not one of our own crashes, surprisingly enough. This one's a Nomai ship. You'll find no Nomai ruins across the Twins, but strangely, not a single settlement. Believe me, if there was one to see, I'd seen it with my little scout. So where did they live? Not on the surface, clearly. Amber Twin is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the a answer lies underground. Ah. Uh, how dangerous is that big column of sand? On a scale of one to dead, I'd give it a seven or eight. Awful pretty, though. Right now, sand is flowing from Ash Twin to Ember Twin. But did you know the process eventually reverses? We're not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between the twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomenon. Oh, if you'd like to see something interesting, check out the other twin once a little more of its sand drains off. I promise you won't be disappointed. Oh, interesting. I found something. Found your notes about Outer Rock's main crater. Did you? I hope they were useful. The planet I mentioned may have been frozen solid or just partially made of ice, like a much colder giant's deep. It's hard to say. It used to be the fifth planet in our solar system. You'll notice, of course, that there's no such planet now. And its place is Dark Bramble, which... How to put this grew into the space the fifth planet used to occupy. That is, Dark Bramble quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it from the inside out. Eventually, the planet shattered completely and its shards were flung across space. Some of those shards collided with the celestial bodies in our solar system, such as the Adel Rock, which I believe is how its biggest crater was formed. <laughs> Found something. Found no my writing about the quantum moon. Oh yes, everyone loves a good mystery, don't they? Who wouldn't wonder about a moon that's sometimes there and sometimes not? I've observed the quantum moon orbiting each of the five planets, but sometimes it quite simply disappears from the sky altogether. Maybe there's another place it travels to. Unfortunately, if there is, I've never seen it. Perhaps if I take a closer look at these star charts. I'm drinking some Pepsi or some soda. They didn't pay me. All right, so dry lake bed, and he disappeared from the bottom of the dry. Oh, look at that! I've been there. Um, let's see. That's where we popped out, right? What's down there? It looks spooky. Uh, let's see. Oh, is that my boat? No, that's his boat. Uh, how far down does the lake bed go? I don't know. It's, uh, scary. I wish I had a better, um, I guess I could use the scout. All right. Aha. Okay, so now. Okay, now we're down here. Using it kind of like a flashlight. I don't know which direction the sand is going right now. What I'm hoping is to find some of that quantum moon business going on down here. Ooh. Quantum fluctuations. That one's quite a bit away. How 
power shark. Every time, every time I'll laugh. Okay, so being down here. That's not too far away. That is not too far away. I'm going to go ahead and Cave Shard. Oh, Tower Shard versus Cave Shard. I see, I see. What do we got? That's Cave Shard. That's Tower Shard. That's quite a bit away, away. Only you is less away, away. Okay, so I want to keep going up, right? Yeah, we'll go up and out. There's Cave Shard. Oof. Oof. It goes down in there. And he just disappeared out of nowhere. He's poof, gone. Alright. I feel like Power Shard is not that far away. I don't know how... I don't really know how far away the planets are from each other. Um, a lot of this exploration is a little bit tedious because, like, there's just a lot of red rock here. But, I don't know, it kind of makes it even more exciting when you find something. Just bopping around here. There is... There is some really beautiful views. I will, I'll give them that. That one's too far away. That's the cave one. Have I been down there already? I don't know. I do, it would be cool if we could see like when we were complete on something, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. So I feel like this big open lake bed, I'm just kind of keeping my eye down there. Oh, that's, oh, oh, interesting, okay. I was just learning how to use the tools that I've got. All right, we're still going around here. Is this, is it just a big circle? I thought I was going vaguely upwards, but I'm starting to doubt that now. Could I be wrong? Yeah, this all looks very familiar to me. Okay, so we're gonna go up now from here. Uh, oh, I see. There's the switchback. I see it. Oh, three minutes of oxygen remaining. Oopsie doodle. Alright, let's, uh, let's see if we can get back to our, uh, our ship here. I don't know if we can. We may end up suffocating again. We're good at that. I'm the best at what I do, and what I do is suffocate to death. Alright, there's a bunch of prickly pear down there. Let's get us out here. This does not appear to be the same bridge that I came from before. Rad. Where's my boat? I lost my boat. Um, oh, oh, it's like on the opposite side of the planet, Rad. Well, maybe I can get to some trees before I die. Hit the ground running. Don't stop coming. Head to the groove and I hit the ground running. It didn't make sense not to live. Oh, interesting canyons. I'm gonna suffocate again. Uh -huh. Beep borp. Here I am running through this planet. Just run, run, running. Running around to die. Oh, there's a thing. Oh, will you have oxygen on you? Uh-oh. It's the sand business. Oh. Oh, you're doing something. Where are you going? Oh, you got a lot of stuff in there. Ah, ah. Well, I didn't suffocate to death. <laughs> Right. 
So we looked at some more stuff. Let's get in our ship, our boat, and uh, take a gander at our notes again. Because we did unlock a couple more notes here. I think I'll go ahead and go back to... Uh... Yeah, we found a skate pod too. Anglerfish fossil. Lake bed cave. Okay, so we weren't in there. So we've got view entry. There's more to explore here. Yeah, no shit. All right. So escape pod. Shelter site. Escape pod one we haven't gotten to yet. We're still here. Oh. Unusually high number of supernova. Oh, gosh. Okay, so all of these are just little notes about I should look at. Okay. Hinted a secret that reaching the core of giant states lies at the end of the hollow vine they crashed their ship into. To find Feldspar's ship, I'll want to go to the tail end of the anglerfish skeleton and look for a flickering light in the fog. Hmm. Hmm. Do I feel up? Do I feel up for trying inside that today? I don't think I do. Yep, it's, it's bigger on the inside. They don't wanna, <laughs> they just like being out there. Island where the Nomai built the orbital probe. For some reason the Nomai put it on indefinite hiatus was recently launched. Yeah, I know. Who done it? Model of giant steep to that revealed how an object might sink below. Oh. I still can't get to the observatory though. There are two paths. Nope, come on. Be better. Ah, there we go. There's two paths. One starts at the Gravity Canyon, the other starts at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Okay. Uh, broken remains of the Nomai Space Station orbit around Giants Deep. There are three access panels. Yep, okay, so I remember that stuff. Okay. Construction saw something seep beneath the water current, which they clearly thought was impossible. Um, recently, okay. Ash Twin Project. There's so much information. It is a little overwhelming. Yeah, they've been on the moon for a long time. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I know there's more to explore there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three. Okay, okay, okay. Every know my warp tower is tuned for supposed to you use the tower. You must be standing on the warp platform during the... In the canyon at Ember Twins Equator. I mean, that's where I've been fooling around out here. Hmm. It generates a strong upward gravity field. <sighs> Quantum signals. Oh, yeah, yeah. Quantum mechanics are ridiculous. Okay. What was I even going to do? Uh, we're trying to get to the Ember Twin. So let's buckle up. And we're going to view map. We're selecting the Ember Twin again. And uh, we're lifting off. There we go. And 
this time, so we've, I'm going to fly around to the south a bit. Whatever counts as the south pole. Oh, it's got one of these on it, though. Oh, I want to check this out. Landing mode. And there we go. All right. Perfect landing. We love it. Doo -doo -doo. We need a suit because it's tough out there. All right. Let's go uh, first over here. I'm going to take a look at this. Where would this take me? Huh? You going to take me somewhere? This? Nope. Okay. Alright, so this is kind of a little thing. Doesn't have anything to read. Normally this would be where you come in from a teleportation thing. So let's see if they've got any notes around here. No. Oh, this goes down in. Let's let's check this out. Okay, we're in this canyon. I think this might, I might be going right towards the uh, escape pod here. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. It's another, uh, another route out here. So there's the escape pod. And it took me right up there. So I'm going to go back. Get a little speed going here. Oh is that over there? Some stuff. This isn't enough for for oxygen. Alright. Um, where'd my boat go? There it is. Alright. So there's that. I'm gonna go across this bridge here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Get across the bridge. Get across the bridge before the sand comes. Go, go, go. Ooh, I got clipped. Poof. Poof. This door will need to remain closed for some time. You're running experiments based on extraordinary findings from the right hole station. Yeah. The high energy lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin Project. If you're here to help or even just to observe, be sure to use the Sunless City Pass path to the lab. Interesting. I'm definitely coming in here. So one of us, specifically me, can prove the other one wrong. So although it's inconvenient, the lab currently can only be accessed by the path from the sunless lab. Do do do. High energy lab. Door must remain closed. You broke it. You jerkuses. All right. Well, let me go up here. Don't fall in. Let's be. Let me get some vroom 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 vroom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah, there's stuff down in there. All right, so we got to get to the Sunless City part of it. Oh, these douchebags. Uh, follow the power. Alright, let's go in here and see where this leads me. What does the sign say? What does the box say? Crash site cave, 60 meters that way. The Sunless City. Okay. Oh, this is just where I was. Alright, ghost matter detected nearby. Do I have to... too much. Can I walk through it? I don't think I can walk through it. I did the same exact thing that I did before, but from a slightly different direction. I'm drinking my soda. Drinking my soda. 
So duh. All right. We're going back to the Ember Twin. Back to the Ember Twin. Popping up, going right there. Zoom, 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 take it off. Didn't do any safety checks or anything like that. I trust everybody involved. We're cool. All right, and we want to go to... We're going to the Ember Twin. Yep, and so... Engage autopilot. And then look out for our planet. There we go. We're doing good. A lot of supernovas, huh? Something weird happened for sure, for sure, for sure. You're gonna crash me right into the freaking Ash Twin, aren't you? Oh my god. Okay, so this is where I was. I see the cannon. The canyon. That's what they're called. Okay, so that's... That's where he was. Okay, ooh. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. I just want to get up. I want to get up. There we go. Another perfect landing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And out we go. All right. I want in on this. Okay, so we are standing here and we need to turn this on or turn it off. Oh, here we go. Here's the, uh, Controls. Okay, so the shuttle is currently resting at the comet. Call the shuttle home. All right, so that's the shuttle. Activate the gravity cannon. go get on the shuttle here. And we gotta come around this way and get up onto this platform and go in the shuttle. Alright, so is this the same? Oh, nice. All my, all my stuff's looking good. I fear our situation may be dire. Hi, Poke and I land here on this comet not long after its arrival in the star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Pi and Poke were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's soundward side, and they descended inside to investigate the source of the reading. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface, either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Hook, hi, come back to me safely, my friends. Reels, y'all. Oh, it's their own little suits. That. All right, so we've got this shuttle. It's going to shoot me this away. It went right past. The thing that I thought it was going to. Um. What was that supposed to do? Alright. So this zoops me back. To the planet that I was on. This will shoot me. What, like into the sun? Am I just getting shot into the sun? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I got shot into the sun. 
That didn't work out great. I guess I should look up first. Before I let it launch me somewhere, you think? <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same, same. Let's get in there. All right. You know what? Amber Ash is irritating me again. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go try to poke around with a giant angler fish. Because uh, I haven't been creeped out enough yet this time. All right. For that, we need to go to... Mouth Interloper Dark Bramble. There we go. All right. And we're heading that away. Do not take me through the sun. Thank you. Let's go ahead and nip that in the bud. Okay. Cool, cool. All right. We're good. Now we can do it. Now we can do it. Accelerate towards destination. Getting there. Dark Bramble is pretty scared. Huh. Because Dark Bramble is basically some kind of quantum planet that I don't especially understand, but it's also full of terrible, uh, Terrible giant fish. There we go. Oh, please slow down. All right. So now I want to be heading towards Feldspar. And I'm going to be hugging the wall as I do so. Because there are some creepy freaking fish folk fishy fishies oh and they make a terrible noise and you know they're coming for you I'm just trying to get where I need to go without running into any foe right that's how we do it all right so I want to get in this hole. Oh, are you serious? I didn't even hear him coming. That's BS. Boo BS. Boo, boo BS. <laughs> All right, I'm 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess I'll drink another Pepsi. Nope, soda. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. How the heck did I end up, how did I, how did I do, there was one playthrough where I just got right in there and it worked great. And I don't know how the frick, how the frick I got it to work when it's like, no matter what I do, these spicy fishmen want to, want to eat me. All right. Let's see here. So they obviously did some kind of bad thing. I'm going back. I'm going back to Ember Twin. Because my immediate being eaten by person is a really bummer. It's a big bummer. Oh, the sand isn't flowing right now. Interesting. Very interesting. What's that? I'm gonna see what that is. There's like a little plug on top of it. I gotta investigate. All right, so I need to get up a little bit. And 
What do we got here? I wanna, ooh. Oh, it's exit only. Exit only, okay. Um, in that case, let me, let me check out the rest of this planet here. Is there another little plug somewhere? Pardon me, I had some soda, so you'll understand if I'm uh, a little burpy, a little burpy. Please understand. Okay, so that bit of smoke is for sure, for sure, my buddy. All right, so that power goes through there, and then got our cannon. Okay, we've got that. Oh, get out of the way of the sand. There's him in his boat. Just trying to be sure I know what I'm looking at here. Okay, there's the beacon. It's interesting that they left the beacon going this whole time. Oh, what is this? That's uh Yep, that's fine. That's what I wanted. Ah, let me out of here. Get in there. Bonk. Yep, we're good. We're good. Come on. Uh me up here. So what is this? All right, so there's, we're keeping an eye on this person. And then this is the quantum moon, we think. And this is, yep, we see you. We see you. That was already busted ass. That's interesting. Is this, is this your camp? No, it's just oxygen. Interesting. Okay. Uh, it's my boat. Who's, who's this whipping around like that? the quantum moon. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh, there's some stuff to read over here. Cool, cool, cool. All right. This planet sometimes and only sometimes has a moon. This is also of note. It disappears if no one is watching it. Isn't that a fascinating orbital comparison? This is my first time encountering a natural satellite with the ability to vanish when not being watched. We should study it, or even better, we should travel there. I agree. Our first step will be determining a method to track this phantom moon so we can always know where it is. Given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. Found a note, Mallory. Can kindly count me as these moon's admirers. Okay, I've actually read this before. All right, so... This thing is telling us where all our business is. This is where we're at. The moon is traveling to hang out with you. Cool. Oh, that sun looked awfully close. All right. Ooh. Uh. They recording. Chert's research notes, property of Chert. Clearly the Nomai were making astronomical observations here. They chose an excellent spot. What is this big rotating device for? What was it the Nomai were observing? I'd posit there's something special about the orange symbol on that device. Hal and the new astronaut's translator tool would be nice to have handy about now. Oh, oh it's refuel jetpack, yeah. All right, I'm gonna take the scroll with me. Glug glug some Pepsis. Damn it. Just regular sugar soda, right? Just regular ass sugar soda. No brand names allowed. 
Where'd my scroll wall go to? There it is. You get out of there. Uh, uh here. And you get in there. Aha. Uh -huh. The quantum moon locator is functioning. We have markers for each of the places the moon goes. And on a burned I just observe the quantum moon in orbit around Dark Bramble. I added a marker for Dark Bramble. I thought the locator now accounted for all of the Phantom Moon's location, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with the device? It's also possible there exists a sixth place in this solar system to which the Phantom Moon travels. You have keen eyes, my friend. So this moon travels to a total of five locations, not four. Yes. Yes, it does. And I want to go there. All right, where am I at and where do I want to be? Did a lot of stuff up here. Woohoo! Bonk. Get up in here. Let's, uh, take care of myself here, help them feel full. All right, so I'm gonna go back to kind of. Looking around here at the stuff that's kind of up. All right, so there's that thing, and there's that thing. Okay, and besides that thing, I want to see. What else is on the surface of the planet? I don't think there's much. Yeah, I'm gonna try this cannon again. Ah, uh, let's see here. Bonk. All right. Get our suit. We've got all of our suits still on. Okay. Going out here, and then we'll go right down in here. Okay, the Sunless City. Okay, we're going in here this time. Yeah. We'll go, oh, seriously? do is this time instead of just shooting off into space with no care hey come back hey come back I'm going over here to do the thing that I want to see all right um so we're in here now. And what we want to do is not shoot ourselves into the sun. Wait. What did I just do there? What did that do? I don't know what that did. I guess I'm gonna... What do we think that is? It's not the interlope, which is what I thought we were... make this work. We don't want to shoot into the sun. That's all I know for sure. Alright, so we're going to wait until we're past the sun. 
and then what? See if we can get close to anything. Oh, oh, there he is. There it is. So let's, uh, nope, failed. Don't rightly know what we're trying to do with this. But we'll see where it gets me this time. Because I don't, I don't really understand what we're doing with this, these boats. Like if there's some kind of autopilot Well, we're turned towards the sun again. That's no good. Okay, so here's something. Is it gonna zero in on that, or are we just kind of spinning? I can't quite tell. I don't know what we are supposed to be doing with this information. Can I leave the ship? Oh, shit. I can just leave the ding-dang ship. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I didn't want to leave the ding-dang ship. Please stop. Oh, please. Get back in the boat, please. Shit. 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 Please return. Uh. Return. There we go. Okay. There we go. Just bopping around. Okay, but it looks... I mean, I can't... We're here. What are we even supposed to be looking at here? Is there some kind of... Autopilot we can be in? I don't know what that one is doing. It just kind of turns off suddenly. Going back. Get back, Jojo. All right, we're going out here. Cause I just, whoops. Just don't, don't know what I should be doing here. Is that the sand? Or is that the end of the world coming? Could be either. Uh, kind of died down there for a little bit, so I'm going to guess. Well, listen, we can't even get out of anywhere. Um, yeah, I just shot you out to somewhere. See if it lands somewhere. I don't know. I don't like it. <sighs> it's got ice all over it. Can we do anything about that? I don't think we can. Eh. But that does tell me... Yeah, we've got at least a little bit of uh, interlopers going nowhere. What about you? What are you? I can't even... I think that's just the satellite that we shot out. Hmm. <laughs> oh, this game is so hard. Okay. I don't want to be in here right now. So let's just uh, launch... Holy fucking fuck. What the fuck just happened? What even just happened? I don't even know what just happened. It didn't go well. That's for ding dang sure. What even just happened? Glug, glug, glug. Right. 
we're going to give it one more go. And after this one, we're going to be done for today. It's the robot's coming back with food. So I'm going to be having my dinner soon. And I got to feed the kitties. But before that, I'm going to try to get to one more interesting space. And I really want to know what this bullshit is. I can't get close to it because it's too hot. Oh yeah, let's go. Uh, nope, don't land there. Okay, so the quantum moon just skedaddled. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the, I'm gonna go to Brittle Hollow. And we're gonna get in there. Do a quick little, quick little review. What's that big glowy thing on? Oh, that's my planet. That's just one of those big... Yeah, that's a big hole in the planet where we can go inside if we wanted to. Alright, so there's all of that stuff. Telling us where things are. Yep, we're good. That was a perfect landing, once again. Is this a place where I can get down? I think I can get down from here. I believe... I believe I can get... No, no I can't. Uh, okay, yeah, it's this place. Dang it. Um, can I bust a hole in the floor? No, I can't. No, I can't. Just where I read the things. And then going up here and across. Didn't get me anywhere. What was what was this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um let's go back to our ship. We are gonna go to the other pole. Woo! Oh, uh-oh. 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 Shit. Fuck. There we go. <sighs> Alright. That's cool. That's cool. Where's my... I mean go to Dark Bramble like this? Negative seven, negative seven, one. Oh, now it's getting farther and farther away. This is what we want. Yeah. Come on, I gotta get there. Gotta get there before I run out of fuel. Please get closer. You bring me closer to God. I know, I know. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm trying to get to the place I gotta get to. We're bad at this. Alright, so now I'm getting very close. And I gotta. Please, please don't. Please. Please, please let me catch you. Please let me catch you. Please allow me to approach. It's like, I'm trying to get a date. Oh! Oh, my ship came through too. That's cute. 
Oh, I can just get back on my boat because the whole last thing came through. That's funny. Hey, hey. Let me in my boat, please. This is great. Uh. Let me in my boat. Yeah, I got in my boat. All right. Use med kit, do all that business. Buckle up. I'm gonna go, uh, let's see, what do we got around here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna approach the interloper here because they talked about getting in a crack in the ice. And if I got time, I'm gonna go ahead and investigate the crack of that ice. Now it said it was at the tippy tip of it. And check out that tippy tip. All right. And let's go ahead and match velocity again. And go a little closer. Match velocity again. And then bonk. Headlights off. Did I mean to do that? I didn't. Okay. Get my stuff together and go out on this comet and then go into, into the ice. All right. So there's very little gravity around here. So I just need to, oh, oh dear, oh dear. Be a little more careful with what I'm doing out here is what I need to do. All right. Is that me walking on snow? That's cute. All right, so they said for sure, for sure that there was a crevice here and I just gotta find it. Um, is it on the north? I don't know what counts as north. I'm gonna tell you that. So I'm gonna go this way. So I'm around the north, I think, either the north or the south. Um, uh, I don't want to get too far away from things. All right. I'm in kind of around here. I wish that I could just for real, for real, walk, walk on this ding dang planet. Oh, oh, here's a thing. What is this thing? Oh, this is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were out the, without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think, Clary. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Poké and I can continue to investigate the surface. Okay. What is this little thing? the shuttle. I thought I, oh, because I haven't recalled the shuttle. All right. But that means, oh, hey. Hmm. Okay. So not that stuff, but, uh, Hmm, you stayed with the shuttle. Okay, wait, I do want to go this way. Because I think they found it on the, the other pole. Alright, so chill, chill for a sec, chill for a sec. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, and then we're going this way. And we hold on for a sec. 
this. This, hold on for a sec. Okay. Uh, walking, walking, walking. Doing a little jump. Up. All right. Still haven't found the crevice that they apparently found. They said it was on, I mean, was it on the head of it? All right, well, first things first. Let's, let's get back to our boat from a slightly different direction so that we're exploring a little more as we go. Because I haven't seen anything yet. Uh, so far as a crevice, you know what I mean? I was promised crevice that has not yet delivered. Let me get this stuff going. Refuel and go right back out. All right. So, of the stuff we collected, let's go ahead and just look at all the things here. I'll just follow this equatorial or this latitude, longitude, at latitude. Okay. Coming through here. Turning on the light always helps. Don't you know? Ah, this thing's kind of in my way, so I'll go this way. Okay, and we're back at the frozen shuttle. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and follow the equator for a little bit. We'll keep just kind of going around the middle. The middle of this asteroid or comet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Be cool. Be cool, please. Don't burn me. Don't tease me. That was a little close. Hoo to lolly. Come on, something. Something has got to lead me down here. Oh, the ice is already growing back. Oh, is it something where I need to uh, do it while we're close to the sun? Is that the trick? That's kind of cool. Uh, but it seems pretty dangerous. Okay, because there's like this stuff down here. forget what it is that I'm looking for here. It's kind of fun sliding around in these passageways, though. I feel safe. Just skating. It's a little maze. It's kind of fun. I guess we might get close to the sun again this, this round. We might not. So far, I'm not really finding anything that... Uh, interesting up here. That's very far away. I'm also not sure if I'm uh, now repeating where I've gone. 50% fuel remaining. I mean, that stands to reason. It's uh, 8 kilometers. Oh, what the fuck? You left my ship behind, you asshole? Oh my god. My ship fell off of the asteroid. That's, that's incredibly rude. How did that even happen? Well, I'm definitely going to die out here. That's cool. Oy, oy, oy. How friggin' rude. All right. I can't, now I can't even check my notes. <sighs> Somewhere around here. There is supposed to be a crevice that leads further into the 
comet. But the heck if I'm finding it. Alright. Um continue going around this way. Um uh, just a little hop hop skip and a jump there. Oh, oh it erases itself after a while. That's cool. That's definitely cool. Wee bonk. Wee. Just sliding around. No friction. Oh, this looks. Okay, yep, we're going to suffocate here. Be prepared. Just going to end yet another. Another playthrough with suffocating to death. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, please, please tell me. Please tell me. Please let me find Crevice. Last, last minute. Who'd have thunk it? It's a miracle. Nope. Okay. Listen, we're gonna try once more. Be down here. Oh! Oh, did we get a little bloop through the thing here? Please let me... Please let me get back to this. Hey. Hey, let me get back to this, please. I know I was making fun of you, but I would like to get back to this, please. Yeah, we're cool. This is cool. This is for sure the best. Hey, are you dead in there? Can you let me inside? I'm gonna die. Okay, this got frozen over completely. We knew about that. Oh, sometimes these can be so frustrating. Like, uh, I can't believe my boat left me. It's so mean. How did that even happen? All right, listen, we're gonna go this way. We are gonna find out nothing. But we're gonna zip there quick, aren't we? All right. Yeah, I know, I know. Say your farewells, everyone, because I'm about to die. Um, here we go. It's about to die. About to die. Yep, all my fuel's gone and now I'm gonna die. Alright, well this is the last time. Uh, yep, there we go. There we go. Well, on that downer, I'm gonna be done for today. Go ahead and get out of this game. Yep, yep, yep. Look at that. Although I will say the comet's bigger than I thought it was. I'm going to have to read my note on that and figure out where I went wrong. I did cover a lot of ground there. That's interesting. Oh, he's out. Uh, my, my person, they are always extra gaspy when I've died from oxygen. So, uh, all right. I'm going to go ahead and quit. And yes, and as always, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and uh, have a good day. Bye for now.